Okay, so in this video we're going to output the process to a PDF. So here we are in the main body of the process. We're going to go to the summary area. And the first thing we probably want to do is just make sure that we have everything in place that we need. So I'm going to go to my status summary over here on the right. And you can see over here we have the custom URLs. These are the URLs that are going to be called into the uh, PDF here. And I can just verify that active over here, verify custom URLs. I'll run down through them all, make sure they're all there. Any ones that are not there will be shown in red, so you can see we have everything here. So we're in good shape, so then what you do is you tell it you want to use the custom URL. So to do that, you just highlight it right here. It will verify the default path it's using, which will, of course, be not normally be OK if it's found it there. You click on the OK, and then you're going to go to the work instructions here. We'll select the work instruction format we want, and we'll select create a PDF. After that, we just basically do everything as if we did it normally. So I'm going to call this my uh, test PDF. And just click on open. And then click on the OK. Now it'll proceed as if it's actually producing a uh, Excel sheet. You can see up the top here, XLSM. And uh, you, can, you know you've got the URLs going in because you can see here, play the video URLs. If it was the normal... Uh, or construction within Timer Pro would say play, play video here, not play video URL. So now it's working away. It takes a little bit longer because there's a lot of things going on in the background to do with the PDF. And then we're going to see it running across publishing. You saw it very quickly there. That was actually being sent out to the uh, PDF document. So now if we go and look in our folder here where we've got the data here, we come out here to our work instructions. We can sort it by date modified. And here you can see we have the Excel sheet and the the source uh, chip file, which of course is Timer Pro, and here's the PDF right here. So we can open up the PDF right here. First page is just the header page, and here's the detail right here. I can zoom in so we can see it better, and you can see it has all the URLs right there. If you hover over it, you'll see it pointing to the URL, and we click on it, and it's going to generate the URL for us right here and play the video. Okay, so you can see it coming up here. Of course, how it presents will depend upon the player you have here. Back to the PDF here, I'm going to go just page down through the document. You can see one page after another here. Of course, this would have all your pictures and everything in it uh, that you would expect. And then we can come in here and go insert components. Just again, just point at it, just click on it. And it'll come up a little bit bigger, and you can actually see the operator performing the task right here. So, in summary, to create the uh, PDF, you simply just uh, select that format from the Timer Pro, and then you click on Work Instructions, select PDF, and then proceed as if you were just generating it to Excel, and, and in the same folder where the Excel information is placed, you will find the PDF that's produced of the process.